standing next to a guy who, well, I'm proud to stand next to him. He's uh, an actor extraordinaire, sort of a, his comic timing is impeccable. And he's brought new meaning to the new Dragnet, to the character. Sort of a, a new generation of Joe Fridays here. Well, we That's hope, right. we hope, you know, but there, there was a lot of humor in the original shows. They, they injected humor, sometimes intentionally, sometimes unintentionally. How is your, how is your nephew different from uncle? Uh, right. not that much, really. I, I, I don't think, you know. I tried to, you know, do exactly the, the characterization exactly the way Jack Webb did it, you know, just basically straight down the line and, you know, that, that decent kind of moral force, you know, ongoing. And, uh, I think the movie says something. It says that the, the only good thing we can look to in society is the police. Wow, you think that that kind of character can actually exist today in a police precinct? I think there's a, probably a few of them around, yeah. Do yeah. they call them uh, flatfoot squares or something? You know, uh, what would they call them, I wonder? I don't know, flatheads maybe. <laughs> but uh, no, no, that's, that's good that there's guys like that around. You're serious about this too, aren't you, Dan? I, mean, I am. You, you like really enjoyed this. Speaking of the past, speaking of the original, the man that like made us all interested in Dragnet, Harry Morgan. You guys hey, know each Harry. other well. Hi, I Harry. thought you were just fantastic. Thanks very, very much. I thought when you, uh, you know, when the narration started, it sounded exactly like Jack. Yeah. And, right. when, and when you came on, I thought I was looking at Jack Webb. Oh, that's great. Well, you know, having you on board, Harry, was wonderful. Uh, well, I enjoyed it tremendously. You know, Jack had that odd walk, which I know you were trying to, you didn't do it because I guess nobody could do it. Yeah. But you had an odd walk of your own that was just as funny. Yeah, yeah. Did you coach? Jack didn't intend it to be funny. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Did you coach Dan at all? Not a did, bit, you, did you no. give him a hint? This is the way Jack was. That's oh, uh, we talked a little bit about uh, our Jack, Jack's and my relationship, but uh, no, I didn't know. He did that all on his own. <laughs> if, Jack, if Jack Webb were alive today, what would he have to say about that? Uh, I think he, I think he would have fallen down in the theater. Yeah, right. he would have, he would have loved it. You know, uh, there's something that's just this big in American culture as Dragnet. It's going to be satirized, and he was on Laugh-In, and he was on uh, Carson, Carson a couple of times. Yeah. So he knew that uh, you know people poked fun at it. Well, I think one of the uh, one of the clips that they always repeat on the Carson show when they show the best of Carson is the Jack Webb. Of course. Yeah. And you know it was funny. Well, he he knew it was funny. Yeah. Yeah. But also we're trying. We, we tried to, you know, stick to what what he represented, and I think the character looks good in the end of the movie. You, know? you did a lovely yeah. job, too. Are you into the fabulous Thunderbirds, Harry? Are you into the fabulous Thunderbirds? That's the band that's going to be playing oh, right now. Later, Let's go. I'm going to be with. <laughs> yeah. So to we'll the stage Harry up. for the fabulous Thunderbirds. Maybe Harry Morgan will get up there and play a little mouth harp along with Dan. Who knows? Kim yeah, Wilson. Read a, read a poem or something. I don't know. Something from Robert Frost. We'll get you wiggling. We'll get you wiggling.